now that we have our x and y so let's start with that print split and let's then fit our model so for this we have sklearn dot model selection the same process that we followed and we are going to import print test split that's it let's check it everything is fine the same way that i've told you before itself the way I do it is something like this. I just check out what's the doc string tells me, and then I'm going to copy this example over here. Copy this out, paste it over here. Let's remove this, and over here, x and y we already have. As the data set is again quite small, we have only somewhere 500 values. If you can see somewhere of 506 values which is again very small so what i'll try to do is distribute this in a 0 0.25 the test site will be 25 percent of the complete data set and let's put a random state of 5 you can put anything right now i'm putting random state 5 if you need the same answer as i need i have so you just put a random state so you can also check the extreme shape dot shape again you can take y test dot shape okay this looks quite good and if you want to check the x test shape we have Name, x test y test is going the same thing yeah so you got a point about what exactly i'm telling about so x train is 379 and 127 so 127 is 25 percent of 506 now let's start by fitting our model for fitting our model we need to call linear regression from sklearn library so from sklearn linear model import linear regression again please note that l and r are capital again let's initialize it to let's name this as model model is equal to linear regression so we have just initialized our model and now what we need to do is fit our model so model dot fit x we have created from our training data x training and y training so yeah we have done most of the stuff first and check the doc string what all we can do fit enter step normalize copy x and jobs right now we are just keeping everything default you can also check the coefficient values if you ever want to check the coefficient values that we have over here it's quite simple you just have to pass model dot core f yeah so these are the coefficient values of our model now let's plot a graph to get a how good of our model we have just predicted out so let's first predict everything so y thread is equal to model so predict okay so y thread has all the values let's say yeah y thread has an array of values now what i'm going to do is plot a figure plot figure Let's change the figure size. Plot figure. Plot changing the figure size is fixed size is equal to. Let's give five comma four. That's quite the standard size. You can always check three sixty by two eighty eight. And now let's plot a scatter plot. Scatter. We have y test, and then we have y plot. So let's change the color. Say color is equal to R. So yes, we have predicted somewhat of a good model. It's not exactly uh, somewhere in the center, but yes, the inclination should be much more in the centric manner, so that we can say that yeah, it's quite a good model. But 
as of now you can see that we have predicted somewhat of a good model we have a bit of eyes aware but that works just fine for this uh, particular case now as i was talking about coefficient so let's paste one code okay so we'll just paste out this particular code from this and what exactly we are doing is we we'll change this as per our need okay so l stat is minus 0.677 and rm is 4.91 so coefficients are the same thing which i have told you in the intuition classes so what these tells us is a unit increase in l stat keeping everything fixed so keeping rm fixed in this case keeping rm fixed if we increase one unit of l stat it will reflect as minus 0.67 percent that is 6.77 okay so minus 0.677 value of uh, l stat okay so a unit increase in l stat will just reflect minus 0.67 as this is again negative correlation and a unit increase in rm will reflect 4.9 increase so if there was this is price okay keeping everything fixed if we unit if we increase one unit of price and then 4.9 rupees will be increased after a new unit has been added that's how we can treat the coefficient now let's import our lab matrix scale learn import matrix rather than writing the code let's copy it out we have already seen what is msc mae and rmsc so let's check out our uh, so we have an error we everything of small letters y y and over here again the same y okay let's play so mae is 3.87 as i told you that ma will be always lesser than all of the other things so msc is quite high and rmsc is spike so from this model you can get a good picture that why you shouldn't be only checking out one particular matrix so for msc the value is very high in this case so it's 30.59 for our rmsc it's 5.31 and for ma it's 3.87 so that's why you should be always looking for different evaluation matrix that's it for this video we have looked into a linear a multivariate linear regression model in our next section, we are going to start with polynomial linear regression or polynomial regression.